but this will be the end of the presentation. So we don't say that uh, works with Twitch or any kind of box. So. so what you now see is that the second robots have come into the scenario. It was called for the first one, and it's basically a moving trash bin. And uh, so the, the first one uh, hands over or throws the object into the trash bin of the second robot and uh, sells it to move to, to the target location where the trash is stored. So now the, the robot didn't understand what the user wanted from him, so he's now using a gesture instead to give him the same command. Leave the ground. Leave the ground. So as you see, there's another object which is standing on the ground. So of course, before the competition, we tell the robot where to look for objects. And now it's going to first call the other robots. William, get over here. We have work to do. The second robot is now working with the first one, and it's basically doing the same thing. So, if there would be a table, uh, the, the robot would be somewhere in front of the table, and it could find at the same time things on the table and on the floor. Uh, and decide how to how to grab the object. So, what you see now is the second manipulator. This is a simple one, but for grasping from the ground, it's enough. So it takes the object into the gripper. And lifts it up so the, so the arm can actually reach down and hand it over. And uh, then do the same thing with that object as well. All the movements you are seeing here are, are, are uh, executed by the path chain. So there's no it's not predefined motion, but it does know uh, just uh, we, we create a 3D model of the object and then determine where the, the optical position is to grasp it and um, move and then move the uh, the arm. In a way, so uh, we can rest with that. I now want to show you some of the internals of our software. Yes, you know what we do. So, what you see on the screen here is a recording uh, of the previous one of the same test. So uh, we're going to play this back and we're going to see how the, the internal uh, ID of the robot of the world is. Here you see a 3D point cloud model of the, of the table and you see that it has detected the object on the table and has planned a path around the table to the object to, to grip it actually and uh, lift it up. So the, the robot has a model of itself and a model of the world and combines everything uh, to, to fulfill uh, this complex task. How much time do we have left? Not much. Not much. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much for the attention. Thank you.